Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of stuff to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Leak theories about the new gimmick for the Generation 9 games. We have more rumors to go over. A new potentially leaked Pokemon as well to take a look at that popped up on 4chan. There's a lot to go over in today's video. So if you're excited for it, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. The question of the day is what do you think the new gimmick will be for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this doesn't really have anything to do with Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, but I thought I would include it in today's video regardless. It was posted by uh, Felipe who said, Game Freak has opened a vacancy for software games programmer with Unreal Engine 4 Plus. So again, I don't think this will obviously be for Scarlet and Violet because that game will be nearing completion, but this will be for future games and stuff. So um, hopefully this just, I guess, means that we're going to be using like Unreal Engine 4 and stuff more um, in the in the future Pokemon games for like Gen 10. It might even be for something like Detective Pikachu 2. That was obviously been in the works since May 2019. I don't even know if that's scrapped anymore or whatever. Um, but yeah, just a nice little thing to see about Pokemon and that obviously they are working with Unreal Engine 4 and stuff like going into the future and, and stuff. So yeah, just thought I'd include that in today's video just as a little tidbit. The next thing we're going to be talking about though is the gimmick for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. And it was posted by Soul Silver Art. So he posted this image which was uh, Ku replying to this person Victories on Twitter who said... Ku, could you tell us if Mega Evolutions are back in any form, please? Um, so this is all to do with the whole Mega Evolution situation and why some people think that we might get something similar to it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because he then replies saying, no comment on this, too early to say that much. They then reply saying, well, thanks for the answer, but it's weird because if they weren't, I'd say you'd come and say that they aren't. Uh, this gives me some hope because Titan got a new concept of that. So this person's basically saying, you know, if Mega Evolutions weren't in the games, you'd just come out and be like, no, they're not in the game. But the fact that he says no comment on this and then proceeds to say because Titan got a new concept of that, I'm going to tease it maybe in August or September, not the time now. So again, this like Mega Evolution um, situation I don't think it means that we are going to be getting Megas in Generation 9, but it does seem like we're getting something similar to it in Generation 9, and that could be something to do with the gimmick. Uh, again, we're going to find more information about this in August or September, so a little bit closer to release date. Um, still got a couple months to wait for this now. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see, but I think it's going to be something similar to Mega Evolution, and if that is the case, then I don't think that every single Pokemon is going to be kind of um, occupied by this gimmick. I think that it's just going to be a select few Pokemon like Mega Evolutions were, and hopefully this time it's given to Pokemon that didn't get a Mega Evolution, so you know, you like your Flygons and stuff like that, that definitely should have got a Mega Evolution, like Luxray as well, might get some sort of um, new form or whatever this new gimmick could potentially be. But anyway, it's Soul Silver R saying, I believe we'll get at least part of the main Scarlet and Violet gimmick explained soon in June slash July. This is why I believe this new Mega concept is separate from the main one or similar to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. If Riddler Koo is going to tease it in August or September, then it won't be officially revealed until after that, no. So that makes a lot more sense, you know. He's not going to tease something that's already been revealed. Didn't really think about that. Um, so yeah, whatever this new situation is with Mega Evolutions, it won't be revealed until close to the actual game coming out, if it's revealed at all, because, again, he's not going to tease something that's already been revealed. Um, so that's very, very interesting to kind of take into consideration. Again, I would really like new Pokemon forms and stuff for kind of something similar to Mega Evolution. I was a big fan of it. I don't think we're ever going to get Mega Evolution back, but if we get some sort of situation like it, then um, that would be really cool. But again, it could be something like Dynamax and Gigantamaxing because they were also new forms, um, which I guess was a mixture of Mega Evolutions and like Z-Moves and stuff like that. But anyway, that's that part of the video. The next thing we're going to be talking about is this. So Soul Silver Art quote retweeting uh, this um, image here. So this was posted by Loxton saying, Spain was ruled by a great uh, Muslim civilization for almost a thousand years. The forces of nature's genie origins come to mind as that's where genie uh, and jinn come from. 
So he says, I have an overarching theory that all his Suimons in Pokemon Legends Arceus were hinting at Generation 9. Haven't found them all, but there's Enormous and Ursuluna, both Latin names. Um, the Genie, because of what Loxon's saying, that the symbol of Madrid is a beer. New Beermon or an Ursuluna regional form, um, or Split Evolution or Ursaring. But anyway, there's more information about this now. So Pocozo found another Pokemon Legends Arceus Mon, which is Overquill, teasing to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the symbol from the website. This one is undeniable to me. Quillfish's tail as a hashtag 9 seems plausible, too uh, ironic, as it always looked more like a 9 than a Q, in my opinion. I added the previous finds to make this into a Pokemon Legends Arceus Montese archive thread, too. So, yeah, you can kind of see that here. Um, so, we have, obviously, this is Hisui and Quillfish here, and it clearly has, like, a 9 on, on his tail. Um, so, again, could be a bit of a tease there. And then we also have, like, Overquill's bodily shape being quite similar to this, which was obviously found on the website. So, again, it could just be a coincidence. It could be, like, read, trying to read through the lines or whatever. But, you know, I mean, that's definitely a 9 on his tail. But whether it's referencing Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, I don't really know. Because we knew that Gen 9 was going to be coming at some point soon. So, I mean... I don't really think it's a reference to Scarlet and Violet. I think it's just a reference to Gen 9, which, again, we knew was on its way. Um, then, obviously, we have this one here. Not to mention, Hisui and Zorok is confirmed to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, again, we don't know how many Hisuian forms are going to make their way into Generation 9. The only ones that we know are definitely 1,000% in it are Hisui and Zorok and Zorok because we saw it on the actual... Um, trailer and stuff like that uh, well not nah, it actually wasn't seen on the trailer but they posted an image of it on um the website this is the craziest one to me so far um so in case you still have doubts the basculine line recently became a symbol for a flag in a different way too this is almost all hard evidence that points to scarlet and violet um so again i, I guess that could be referencing yeah the 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 lines and the flags and stuff on on well the, the red and white lines and the stars and the blue uh, on the uh, American flag and then also these Pokemon designers are definitely looking at flags for color inspirations so again we have the Spanish flag here in the background and then Fuecoco I don't know if it necessarily means that it's taking colors from the Spanish flag I think it's just orange and yellowy because you know it's a fire type you know like Charmander is also orangey and yellow and stuff I think it's just kind of because of the Pokemon it is but again the region set in Spain um, so very well could be that situation you never know um, and then to all the haters, I think Basque Legion's connection is even more concrete. Maybe info I came across meant only new mons were hints, not forms. Either way, this is perfect. Big thanks to Delete Zero for this. Basque Legion female could represent the white in the emblem. So again, that could be a little bit more coincidence. I mean, not coincidence. Could be a little bit more evidence to, to show that they are actually basing it off this kind of stuff. And we have gold and silver here. So I think we maybe found Hisui and Gudra slash Ligu's connection to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. These crests, probably from groups that will no doubt be important to the story, are clearly gold and silver. Now what line got a silver shell and a big shiny color change from its original shiny? Being, of course, Hisui and Gudra. Again, I, I don't know if this does kind of correlate to gold and silver. I'm not sure. Maybe we are going to get a gold and silver game after Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, whether it is Let's Go Johto or something similar to that. I don't know, but it very well could be a hint to that. And then now everyone knows about the starter types teasing the new uh, starters. So theory time, what is the history and starters were hints to Generation 9 starters. I firmly believe, uh, believe Fue Coco will be Fire Ghost, which again has all but been confirmed now. Quaxley doing, uh, Quaxley doing a 180 becoming Water Dark is possible. Um, and I can easily see Sprigatito as Grass Fighting. But obviously we now know that it's going to be Water Fighting for Quaxley and then Grass Dark for Sprigatito. Um, so they have done basically what the... Yeah, they're basically the same typings of the Hisuian starters, um, which is kind of muddled up a little bit. So, again, kind of cool to see. Um, so, again, it could be references from Pokemon Legends Arceus kind of pointing and leading the way into Generation 9. But, I mean, we'll never know. But it is cool to kind of see those situations arise. So, that's that stuff. All the Easter eggs. Uh, we have this newly apparent leaked Pokemon. I don't know if people are kind of saying this is if this is legit or not. Um, I just saw it on 4chan. It popped up. Um, and again, it looks like some sort of new B or something. I feel like it has just been created in some sort of like, um, I don't know, software engine or something like that. It does look really cool though. I guess it's a little bit more believable. Like it does have like the graphics of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, like the way that it looks and stuff because of the textures and everything. Like we saw the scales and Surviper. We saw the shininess of the metal on uh, Magnemite. Uh, and, and Lucario, we saw like the fur and stuff like that. So I could definitely see this Pokemon looking like this. Um, but again, this is this is the first kind of Pokemon leak we've had in a while, which actually shows an image. Like, we're just used to seeing leaks, like, 
you know, like this, just telling us about stuff from Riddler Coup, from what you've seen. But we've not really had like a, an idea of what it looked like. Um, but yeah, this is, I guess, the first one we've seen. I'm not saying it's real, though. I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. They're always taken so poorly as well, like on these, like, it's not the worst picture in the world, but... You know, definitely could have been a little bit better, but I really like this Pokemon design. I think it's really cool. Again, let me know in the comments if it is taken from anything, if it's taken from like a different game or like a fan trailer or something like that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't really find anything about it when I saw it on like Twitter and 4chan and stuff. So either way, that's a potential new Pokemon we could be seeing in Scarlet and Violet, but you know, don't hold your breath. It probably isn't going to be. And then the last thing we're going to be going over today is a new rumor for the Generation 9 games. Uh, like finishing off videos every now and again with a, with an old 4chan rumor. Because, you know, every now and again, one of them is going to be correct. Um, but this was posted on the 14th of June. And it's titled Main Gimmick by Anonymous. And they said the main gimmick will, in fact, be somewhat similar to the Mega Evolution and Ultra Burst. Now, again, this conveniently popping up after Riddler Koo talking about this. Like, there's a bunch of 4chan posts and, you know, leaks and stuff, rumors, what have you, popping up with information on a new gimmick that's similar to Mega Evolution. And that's just literally days after Riddler Koo obviously posted about this. So, it's always something you have to take with a grain of salt anyway, but... You know, when they start talking about something that an actual leaker has just spoken about, you can kind of call it fake. But either way, the main gimmick will be, in fact, somewhat similar to Mega Evolution and Ultra Burst. It's called Hyper Phasing and has to do with time travel and how Pokemon can undergo different forms of transformations throughout time. Like how Mewtwo could get to Mega Evolutions, most Pokemon can get two Hyper Phasers with the prefix Scarlet or Violet at the end, representing the past or the future. This, thing, this already kind of screams fake to me because there's no way they're going to give most Pokemon two Hyper Phases, you know, because they're going to look different when they get this Hyper Phase form or whatever. There's no way they're going to give every Pokemon that. It's going to take way too long. Uh, and I think people would be annoyed as well about that because if they were going to give every single Pokemon two extra forms, if they scrapped that, they could have easily brought the National Pokedex back because they could have just brought all of those Pokemon into the game instead of doing all these new forms. So again, I don't think this is going to be the situation that we find ourselves in. I feel like some Pokemon could get this hyper phasing thing or, you know, this past and future form like we got with Mega Evolutions, like we got with Gigantamaxing and stuff. Um, but again, you'll have to wait and see. Either way, uh, they go and say gameplay wise, it can be compared to Mega Evolution because hyper phases get a plus 100 in their stats. But not every hyper phase is limited to that. The box art legendaries get a drastic boost to their stats, for example. It's also comparable to Ultra Burst, since there is just one universal item for Pokemon to hyper phase uh, called the Hyper Crystal. Not every Pokemon can hyper phase. Only some Pokemon can, like Mega Evolution. Well, he's just kind of contradicted himself there as well. He says not every Pokemon can, but he says most Pokemon can um, somewhere. He says, yeah, most Pokemon can get two hyper phases. But here he says, you know, not all of them just like Mega Evolution, so again, not a great choice of words there. Uh, and then he goes on to say, they can get different abilities and different types too, like Mega Evolution. So I feel like this person definitely wants to get Mega Evolutions back in Gen 9, and that seems to be the theme of their apparent rumor slash leak. It's very similar to Mega Evolution. The designs are just more limited by the concept of past versus future. It will be activated in battle by selecting Hyper Phase and then selecting a move, only if your Pokemon is holding the Hyper Shard. I mean, this is a fan fiction if I've ever seen one. That's all I'm going to say. Like, there's no way in hell we're going to be getting hyper phases in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We might get something similar to it, but I don't think it's this. He then goes on to say, because someone replied saying, you know, tell us some Pokemon that are apparently going to be able to hyper phase. Uh, and he says, uh, Stoutland Scarlet, which is normal slash ground. Stoutland Violet, which is normal slash fighting. Jumpluff Scarlet, which is grass flying. Jumpluff Violet, which is grass psychic. Girafferig Scarlet, which is normal dark. Girafferig Violet, which is normal psychic. I mean, isn't that Girafferig's typing anyway? Normal psychic? Or am I... It's normal psychic anyway, isn't it? I think? I don't know. Conkelda Scarlet, which is fighting rock. And then Conkelda Violet, which is fighting steel. So that's apparently some of the Pokemon that are going to be able to hyperphase in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I don't know about that though. Don't sit too right with me. I think it's just another BS 4chan rumor. But of course, most of them are like 99.9% .9 are. But you get that Ben Affleck leak, like I say, something like that every now and again, which turns out to be true. We haven't really seen any 4chan rumors so far though, like that have predicted anything from the trailers. We've had things that have got like close, but then they've got like a bunch of fake stuff in there as well. We haven't had a 4chan rumor that said, you know, there's going to be a new like Pikachu clone that's like poor me and there's like a new olive Pokemon and stuff like that. Usually when a new trailer drops, people go back and look at all the 4chan 
4chan posts and see if anything adds up. And when it does, you can kind of then take a look at that, which is exactly what we did with the Ben Affleck League. You know, it came out, everyone kind of, you know, just turned their nose at it. And then obviously the Yampa stuff came out, the gym challenges came out and all that stuff. And then everyone was like, okay, this is true. And it all became, you know, very, very accurate. So anyway, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment, answer the question of the day. What do you think the new gimmick is going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? And also let me know your thoughts on this whole mega evolution thing. Do you think that is going to be like the gimmick, something similar to this, or think it's going to be something different to the gimmick? Let me know your thoughts on it. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.